Get the rocket. It's almost down. Now what? We gotta get Cody first. Give a blast. I can't get at him behind that rock. Now hit the cliff above him and bring it down on him. Too many guards there, we might lose the ray gun. We'd better pull out of here. Serious. And Cody did escape. I heard the announcement over the radio. I must report to the moon. Rob calling Reddick. Very bad news, Your Excellency. Commando Cody has upset our plans for destroying the rocket ship, and the Lunarium has been landed. This is intolerable. If the Earth people use that Lunarium to build ray guns, they will be able to repel our invasion. I realize that, but I did my best. Your best is not good enough. I'm going to fly down to Earth at once and take charge of operations myself. I will welcome your help. Apparently, you need it. In the meantime, have your men go after Commando Cody and any other key personnel they can reach. We must delay the completion of any ray guns on Earth until my invasion fleet is ready. Yes, Your Excellency. Cody and his assistants must be destroyed. Lunarium arrived safely at the Government Atomic Laboratory and have already started converting it into a compound suitable for use in the ray gun. How long will that take? Some time, I'm afraid. The element's entirely new to our scientists and they'll have to build considerable equipment to handle it. Well, I hope they can get it ready before the moon men attack. Do you have any idea when the invasion may be expected? No. The moon ruler told me himself he was planning the attack, but he didn't say when. The time element is vital. Let's go over in detail what happened on your trip to the moon. And perhaps we can find some clue to when they plan to strike. All right. Well, our passage through space was uneventful. The rocket ship functioned perfectly. When we reached the moon, I decided to go on a scouting trip. Welcome, Commando Cody. I am Rettig, ruler of the moon. Apparently you are expecting me. Of course. For many years our radio has kept us informed of events on Earth. And my men there have advised me of your every move. I see you have adopted our language. Yes. All our people are required to speak English. So we can operate more efficiently in your country. Do you mind telling me why your men are carrying out that campaign of destruction on Earth? Not at all. They are merely softening up your defenses for our impending invasion. Why do you want to invade the Earth? Because the atmosphere on the moon has become so thin and dry, it is impossible for us to raise food, except in pressurized greenhouses. And none of us can move outside without helmets. So we are planning a mass migration to your world. You will find that conquering the Earth isn't so simple. Ah, but it will be. Because of our atomic weapons, on the moon, we have an element, lunarium, which is far superior to uranium as a base for atomic reactions. And we can completely control the force of these reactions. 
enabling us to build atomic weapons ranging from huge cannon to these small ray pistols. It's very considerate of you to give me all this information. You deserve some reward for your long journey, but unfortunately, I cannot permit you to return to Earth with it. Maybe I have something to say about that. So much for the effectiveness of your weapons. Now I will demonstrate one of ours. we were to attack the city. So the next day, Ted and I went back and turned nitrous oxide into their ventilating system. When Reddick and his guard became unconscious, Ted waited while I went in and got a ray gun. But before we could... They're still after us. Let's go. Let's get in there. We can't follow them in there. Set the ray gun at constant heat. We'll melt the cliff and bury them alive. Right. shots without another charge of the lunarium. And now that we have a lunarium, we can build our own ray guns and pistols. Yes. We brought back one of their ray pistols. Looks fairly simple. Yes. Would you like me to take it apart to show you how it works? Please.
There's the intake for the air conditioning system. Put the hose in and turn the gas on. Let's find a spot where we can watch the window in case anyone tries to get out. We must start manufacturing these weapons at once. Wouldn't it be better to save the Lunarium for bigger guns? They're what we'll need to stop an invasion by rocket ships. Excuse me, but isn't it getting awfully stuffy in here? I'll open a window. Mr. Henderson. 